What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss K. I know I hadn't done a gun video, but I've been, um, um, you know, living life. Life gets in the way. I want to compare, not really compare, but I want to share something with you guys. Y'all know that I got my Walther PPS um, uh, a few months ago. Um, and I have taken this to the range. I forgot how many rounds I've roughly put into it. Um, and everything. I always use the, use the extended, extended little, even though the Walther came with two magazines, I always use the extended one. Um, but yeah, um, safety check, all that good stuff. But, um, I have to say, this firearm is pretty accurate. Now, y'all know I had been carrying my um, Glock 43. And it's, it's hard to do a comparison because I really enjoy carrying both of these concealed. I really do. Um, I, I really do. I hope I'm having a safety check just so you'll know. No magazine. There's nothing in there. So, yeah. I enjoy carrying both of them. But this one's, uh, my Glock 43 is a little bit smaller, you know, um, as far as concealment wise. Just a little bit. It's just a little bit smaller. But these are both solid firearms in my, in my, I put more rounds in the Glock 43 than I have in my uh, Walther um, PPS. I put more rounds in that, in, in the Glock 43. That's just a fact. So, um, but as far as, um, Reliability, both of them have been reliable. I need to clean my guns, actually. Both of them have been, have been very reliable firearms. These are my main two go. These are my main go-to for concealment. Um, as far as shooting this one and then going right behind it and shooting, well, you know I've had this one longer. So as far as going right behind the Glock 43 and shooting this one at the range. I would say my accuracy is is pretty much on par with both of them, meaning that my shot group is still pretty tight. I may put a picture somewhere on the um, on this video so you'll see it. Um, but yeah, the accuracy of the um, Walther PPS is is pretty much my at least from my experience and how I shoot is pretty um, close to the Glock 43. And how I shoot that. It's been reliable for me. The trigger, um, I don't really have a problem with the trigger. Um, to me, the Glock 43 may be a little bit snappier. Just a little bit. And that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying that's just how I feel so far. But um, after months of you know of going to the range and, and shooting both of these firearms, and these are like I said, these are primarily my carry web my carry firearms. I can't go wrong with either one of these. I love them both. I really do. I really do. I don't favor one over the other. Both of them have their own attributes um, that I like, and I really can't go wrong with either one of them. You know, this one's a lot slimmer than maybe my Glock. I don't know if you guys can tell. But they're they're pretty much um they're pretty much you know uh, it's a lot slimmer as you can tell the, my my Glock 43 is a little bit thicker but that's fine too um I don't really have a problem with that per se um I think the uh, Walther's a little bit taller from what I can see let me just put it this way so y'all can see it's a little bit this is the Glock 43 and this is the uh, Walther. Both of them under the chamber to nine millimeter, by the way, so you know. But yeah, they're um both of these firearms are pretty solid. I have to say that. They're pretty solid. So can't go wrong with either one of them. It's just a matter of choice. I wake up, you know, if I'm away from work, because I don't carry at work, but when I go to when I'm not at work, either way, you know, I wake up if I want to carry the Walther PPS, that's what I care. If I want to clear my carry my Glock 43, I really can't go wrong because I my shooting and my grouping for these two are about the same. So I'm comfortable with that. You want to be efficient 
in your carry weapons. Actually, all of your weapons, but especially the ones that you carry. You want to be efficient. You want to be on point with your concealed carry. So anyway, it's your girl, Miss K. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've been living life. Things come up. But just know, I'm still 2A all day. I'm still a U.S. Army veteran, combat veteran at that. And um, yeah, uh, let's protect this, the Second Amendment. There's a lot of things going on in the news about our uh, gun rights and everything. Make sure you stay on top of what's going on. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out.